Ah, the old-fashioned. A true classic. At an Idiot's Liquor, it is a new year, a new challenge. And this year's challenge is to produce 100 different cocktails throughout the year of 2020. I wanted to start number one with the Old Fashioned Cocktail. The Old Fashioned Cocktail is just the true classic, the original. In fact, it gets its name primarily because during the late 1800s when new ingredients were being added to cocktails, things like orgeau, different juices, different combinations and sugars, these types of things were added. Some of the purists, the cocktail purists, they hated it, absolutely hated it, began to refer to this style as the old-fashioned way of doing it, and hence the name stuck. We still refer to it as the old-fashioned. The version I'm making today is the uh, imbibe version from Dave Wandridge. It's pretty much the standard. If you see different recipes that call for muddling cherries, muddling, you know, oranges, that's kind of a old way of doing it that we don't do. Uh, traditionally, that was thought to have been done during Prohibition to mask the flavors of really bad hooch. Now, making the old-fashioned is really, really simple, as with most drinks of those days. We're going to start off with a simple sugar cube. And these sugar cubes here are one teaspoon in size. If you don't have sugar cubes and you just want to use regular you know, white sugar, that's fine. I got the old uh, sugar cube, so I'm going to throw one of those in there. And it's just going to be a little splash of water. Now we're talking roughly a teaspoon. doesn't have to be much. And some Angostura bitters. Now, this is where you can play around a little bit. I'm going to use two dashes of my Angostura bitters. But look, if you have other types of bitters you want to mess with, um, other styles, flavored ones, you know, this is where you can have a lot of fun with it. Once you got that in there, let's just muddle it up a little bit. To kind of break that up. And you can see I've broken it up pretty well in there. There is some loose sugar hanging around, which is why I recommend taking your, uh, your liquor. In this case, I'm using bourbon and Elijah Craig's small batch. You want to use something that you would drink straight or on the rocks, something you don't mind the flavor of by itself. And it's safe to say, you know, other liquors can be used as well. Uh, gin rye, these types of different liquors. I'm just happen happening to use bourbon. And it's going to be two ounces of the bourbon. Nice, simplistic drink. Um, give this a little stir. Nothing too crazy, but it's good to try and mix as much of that sugar up as you can. before you actually put any ice in there. Now the next step, we're gonna add a little bit of ice. Left my ice tongs in the other room, so you're gonna have to forgive me for the handling. And just stir this up nice, get a good dilution. Twenty to thirty seconds will give you a real nice dilution on that. And this is a very simply served drink. One decent sized cube, a lot of people use the round ones, um, big square chunks. You know, this is a place where you can kind of goof around with the ice style and have some fun. And it's just going to get strained off over top of that ice. Last thing, garnish. I'm going to use some orange. Nice little orange peel. You know, you can squeeze that. Express some of those oils from the orange peel in there. Just drop it in. That's it. That is the 
old-fashioned cocktail, you know, this is almost an intimidating cocktail because it's the original, what everyone knows. Delicious. Very delicious. Feel at liberty to goof around a little bit with the flavors here. Like I said, try different sugar. If you want a different sugar, you can use simple syrup. That's totally fine. You can use Demerara. Those types of things you can adjust, play around with. But start with the original and adjust as you like. This is a spirit forward drink, so if you're not someone that enjoys a good whiskey, then this is not for you. A very good quality whiskey is going to shine in a drink like this. There's not a whole lot of other flavors. Some Angostura, a little bit of sugar, and a touch of water to dissolve that sugar. But overall, it really lets the spirit stand out, which is what's so great about a classic old-fashioned. Well, one down, 99 more to go. This was the iconic old-fashioned. If you want to see more, click on the subscribe button down below, the bell icon. That way you're notified when I post something new. Till next time, remember that if this idiot can do it, then so can you. Cheers.